Look, y'all, I just thought of something funny that happened to me. Listen, I'm still at Trader Joe's on the Lower East Side. At least I think this is the Lower East Side. Some folks say it's the East Bay. I don't know. I say it's the Lower East Side. So, I did my shopping and I'm finna go home. I took a break. I had to sit down and drink some water. It's hot in the mother outside. Look, when I used to live in Southside Jamaica, I lived there for years. I grew up there. I'm from the South Bronx. That's where I was born, but I always lived in Southside Jamaica. Now I live in Manhattan. So, it was late one night and I was cooking, so I, I needed something. I think aluminum foil or something. So I went to the 24 hour store. Y'all that have lived in the hood or have good ways or know the way of the hood, 24 hour stores, they don't let you know. You gotta go to the, excuse me, dang, I you. You gotta go to the little window where they, you gotta pass the money through the window, then they charge you and then they give you what you ask for. So it was two dudes in the store. One's behind the counter, the other one's on the other side of the counter, and they talking and talking. I said, excuse me, sir, may I have some aluminum foil? Still talking, ignoring me, looked at me, turned, ignored me. Excuse me, sir. I got a little louder. Excuse me, sir, may I please have some aluminum foil? I was so polite. Still kept ignoring me and talking to his co-worker. So now it's late at night. I'm trying to finish whatever I'm cooking so I can go to bed. I had to yell at him. I said, yo, my nigga, give me some of little before. He said, oh, 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 oh. And then he went and got it. Now, do that make sense to y'all? I probably shouldn't call him a nigga. But if he's over on Rocky Boulevard in South Side Jamaica, please, please. All of us up there call him I and nigga. They don't care. And they answer as long as you can. So then he came and he brought me my item, I paid, and I went home. I promise you, I'm not making this up. I don't know if this only happens in New York, but I, I said, I'm a nice girl. A nice woman. I'm not a girl anymore, but I was polite. Why he ain't just answer me? I wouldn't have to scream at him. I lost my temper. I lost my cool. Story, I'll share that story with you. Just in case y'all was losing sleep, wondering what was on my mind. All right. I'm finna make some moves and go back to my humble abode and all that. It's Sunday. August 6, 2020. Your girl is 57 years old. I will be 58 on Friday, August 11, 2020. I'm still here. A lot of people counted me out. I don't know why. I'm a good girl. I lived a good life. I'm still living a good life. I'm still here. On my birthday, August 11, 2023, is the 50th anniversary Oh, Bronx hip hop. I mean, you could say hip hop, but many of us didn't call it hip hop back then, and we were just jamming in the park. We didn't use that term hip hop. But I observe it nevertheless. But shout out to First Lady Queen, Cindy Campbell, to the father of hip hop, DJ Cool Herb. To the father MC, Cole Bolai. And I'm signing off. And y'all uh, be good. And rock on and on and on. To the break of dawn.